CVTV. I'm Gracie. And I'm Rika. We, we are, are your CVTV CV anchors. May the 4th be with you. Today is a very special day. Do you know what day it is? Yes, it's Star Wars Day. Yes, for many years now, May 4th has become known as Star Wars <laughs> Day. Many cities have small celebrations for the day. It, ha it has also been a day in the past where special trailers are released. Keep your fingers crossed that this year we get some more of the n next movie installment. Solo. We would like to start the day off by wishing Angel, Imani, and Naomi a happy birthday today and this weekend. Please come to the office for your birthday pencil after CVTV. This week's question of the week was, what are the three races of the Triple Crown in horse racing? The answer is the T Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont. These are the three biggest races in horse racing, and the first one will be run tomorrow afternoon. The Kentucky Derby starts the series, and the Belmont will finish the series at the beginning of June. It's very unusual for one horse to win all three races. We had no correct answers this week. Make sure to tune in tomorrow and see what horse wins the Kentucky Derby. Next, we have this week's movie quote. The movie quote was, you're killing me, Smalls. We had many correct answers this week. This quote comes from The Sandlot. Austin and Miss Greer in Miss Stevens' class is this week's winner. Come to the studio to claim your prize. Next, we have Isabella with today's weather. Look for a nice weekend as temperatures climb into the 70s today and tomorrow. Storms will move out and dry weather will follow for a couple of days. Look for scattered showers on Sunday evening with highs in the upper 70s. Have a great weekend, Crestview students. Back to you, anchors. Crestview's next dine to donate day is May 8th. Plan on coming to Sundays next Tuesday to help raise money for Crestview. Sundays is a great place to get dessert or a high school a hot coffee. Plan on supporting Cressy next Tuesday at Sundays. Next we have Miss Dobson in the studio to share our next book talk. Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to talk about the book Dolphin Summer. I read this book and it was really awesome. This book is about a little girl named Lily who always wanted to be a marine biologist. She finds a dolphin that has lost its pod in a canal in New York City. She finds a way to get it back to be studied at the aquarium that she always liked to visit. Well, she thought she was going to have a terrible summer because all her best friends were out of town. They left her to go to soccer camp. She thought she had no one left, but yet she was able to make friends with the dolphin. She named her Wanda. This whole adventure led to Lily being able to have an internship at the aquarium and she made up with her best friends and was able to have the most awesome summer of all. Thank you. And now I have Miss Zelaya. She also has a book for us to read. Thank you, Miss Dobson. Hi guys, if you know me, you know that I am a big pig in the hug fan because I have pugs everywhere. So this is gonna be at the next um, book fair and if I let you buy any and I don't buy them all out, you'll be wanting it. If Pig the Pug doesn't always win, it ruins his day. He must always come first, even if it means cheating. And when Pig loses, he screams, sobs, and sulks. Yes, Pig must always win, and he doesn't want anything to stop him. Meanwhile, Trevor just wants to have fun. Winning isn't important to him, and Trevor definitely does not want to compete in an eating race with Pig. But when Pig wolfs down his food so fast that he accidentally swallows his bowl, it's Trevor to the rescue. Maybe Pig the Pug will finally learn that winning at everything is not always fun. So check it out, guys. Back to you, anchors. Hey, Ramiko, which program do Jedi use to open PDF files? I don't know. Which program do Jedi use to open PDF files? Adobe Wan Kenobi, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Yoda such a good farmer? I don't know. Why is Yoda such a good farmer? Because he has a green thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Take a moment and watch another fourth grade travel commercial. Come to Madison, Andy, Indiana for a load of fun. Madison, Indiana has been here for more than 100 years. It was established in 1832. Madison even has horseback riding. There is more than two galleries there. And always remember, come for the history and stay for the race. Next we have Jacob with today's sports moment. This week marks the first time Dana Patrick has gone back in the Indy car at the Motor Speedway in seven years. This will be her last Indy 500. She hopes to retire winning the biggest race in the, in the world. Only time will tell. Be sure to follow her and many other drivers in this year's race. We will continue to bring you weekly updates on our CBTV Sports Moment. 
Next, we have Mr. Tutsi in the studio for another Coach's Couch. All right, Bobcats, another installment of Coach's Couch. We have some special people here today. They're going to introduce themselves, and then I'll tell you why they're here. My name is Emily. And what, whose class are you in? Mrs. Lacey. You need to be a little louder now, Emily. My name is Carrie, and I'm in Miss Lacey's class. My name is Santa, and I'm in Miss Lacey's class. My name is Matthew, I'm in, in Miss Lacey's class. My name is Jamal, and I'm in Miss Lacey's class. Okay, guys, they're here because of pause. You guys, you got enough pause to be on the coach's couch. Tell me why you wanted to be on the co coach's couch. Um, um, my mom wants me to um, go on the coach's couch, and um, it was my dream to go on this coach's couch, and I've always wanted to do it. Well, that makes me feel really special. I love the coach's couch. Thanks to Miss Woods, who came up with the coach's couch. Uh, Matthew, why did you want to be on the couch? It was my dream. I love that, man. Uh, Emily, tell me why you want to be on the couch. Because I just really, really, really always dreamed about being on it. Man, you guys have big dreams. I love it. Jamal, now Jamal's kind of special. I coached Jamal's father in high school, and now I'm coaching him and, and teaching him. I really enjoy having him in class. Jamal, why did you want to be on Coach's Couch? Because I want to be on CUTV, and it's my dream to be on Coach's Couch. Man, I tell you what, you guys are coming back every day. You make Coach Tutsi feel great. Um, real quick, Anna, tell me how you got so many paws. Um, because um, we were, we were at first first set uh, at line and and when we were being quiet because we cannot talk at the hallway. So you were doing, you were being safe, responsible in the hallway. That's good. Matthew, was there anything you would like to add to that? No. Anybody would like to add about how we got our, our paws? We can also earn them in our classroom. Uh, tell me specifically some things you got, you did to get paws. Um, when we were doing tests, um, you have to follow directions and we all have to follow directions and we get paws. Excellent. We have to follow directions. How about you, Emily? So, like... Um, our teacher picks three special students if we're um, walking correctly and doing a four check line in line. Gotcha. Jamal, did you want to add something? Okay. I got to tell you guys, I am so touched that this is your dream to be on the couch. This is awesome. This is awesome. I, I can't wait till maybe my dream is to make our coach's couch go live on ABC, NBC television. I think we could do it. And with guys like you, it would be great. Um, as always, when we see our friends in the hallway, please congratulate them. And as always, we'll see you on the couch. Back. Thanks. Next we have Today in History. Today in 1715, a French manufacturer debuted, debuted the first folding umbrella. In 1961, 13 civil rights activists dubbed Freedom Riders began a bus through the South. And in 1985, the Apollo Theater reopens with a 50th anniversary grand reopening celebration. There was an associ associated television special entitled Motown Salutes the Apollo. Today, Fox Television broadcasts the weekly show called Showtime at the Apollo. Today's thought of the day comes from the Jedi Master himself, Yoda. He once said, always pass on what you have learned. Thank you for listening. I'm Gracie. And I'm Ramika. Have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. Stay responsible, respectful, and safe. And, and remember, remember, may the fourth be with you always. Bye!